What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle and today we are bringing you a brand new episode of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Guns for Dummies. This episode is going to be episode number 6 and we're going to be going over the Rampart 17 which is the second AR that we run into on our experience, our multiplayer experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you enjoy the other ones in the series, if you haven't seen the other ones in the series, please go back and watch those. Leave a like on those videos. Um, give me some feedback down below of things you want to see potentially. And then um, come back to this one and get caught up and, and really get a feel for all the weapons I've done so far. So if you're not familiar with it, the first thing we do is a recoil test with the gun. So we're using the, the Rampart 17 and this gun has a decent rate of fire. It's very, very high knockdown power, but it has a tremendous amount of recoil. So we're going to jump into it with the recoil test first. And the way we do this is we're going to aim about chest high on this target or on the wall of this target. And then we are going to fire without touching the right stick whatsoever to, to show you guys the pattern of the recoil. Three, two, one. Then we're going to do it again right here. So you see this pattern went up to the right, up to the left, and shot way right. And then this one over here reversed. So it started here went to the left, up a little bit, and then straight right, like a 90 degree angle right. So next up we have our recoil at range test. And usually we use both these targets, but this one's so trafficked with all these, these moving targets flying in front of it. So we're just gonna stay on this one for both of them. Um, the way this works, we're gonna aim at the center circle on the target, and we're gonna do a full clip without moving the right stick at all, without touching the right stick, and see where the pattern takes us. And then we're going to try to compensate the recoil for the compensate for the recoil on the next test, and hold the right stick down, predict the recoil pattern, and see if we can stay on the target with all 30 shots. So for test one, here we go. Got the red dot in the center circle, and. All right, let's look at it. So the first shot hit dead center. I think the second shot climbed a bit. And then everything else from there just went all over the place. I don't think anything else hit the target. I think maybe two shots hit the target and the rest just dis literally disappeared. But um, during the actual shooting, they disappeared. Nowhere to be found. As you can see from this range, this is a headshot. If I hit here, Basically a headshot, so I was aiming at his head, and then everything else flew over. All right, so this time we're going to hold the right stick down. We're going to try to predict the recoil pattern, and let's do it. So, of course, if you play the Call of Duty or any Call of Duty or any shooting game, you know recoil patterns aren't that hard to adjust to. But this one is just all over the place. So it starts here, goes down here, goes back over here, goes down here. It's just super tough to adjust to because I found myself during that gunfight or during that, that shooting test, I found myself having to move it to the left, move it to the right, move it down, move it up, move it diagonally. It's just very inconsistent. So the next test we're going to do is the hip fire test. And if you guys are new to the series, the way we do this is we line up on this post here and then we aim about center on this wall and we hip fire from here. And I did notice something earlier that this gun's hip fire is absolutely terrible. But other than that, I don't think this gun actually, I don't think any of the bullets will go past the halfway point on the crosshair. So what I mean by that is the little crosshair you see on the screen right now. You have one point at top, you have two in the middle facing you know, horizontally, and then you have one more vertical dot at the bottom. I don't think any of the bullets will pass the horizontal marks down. I don't think they'll go past that point. They'll stay on the top half of the uh, crosshair. So let's test it. I'm going to do two clips like this. We're going to do one clip, analyze it, and do another clip. So here we go. Let me reset my, my crosshair real quick. Okay, so we did, we did have some, but it's not much. So we have some shots right here. But for the most part, what, two out of 30 shots? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of 30 shots went under, and the rest went up just out of nowhere literally literally no accuracy whatsoever no group no real grouping pattern 
So here we go for the second one. All right. And on this one, we had two bullets below the belt and the rest of them all top, top right. The last 30 bullets we had were top left. So as you can see, there's no consistency with this gun whatsoever, no grouping. What I'm pretty sure the bullet that hit down here was a stray shot. Like I think that one came out of nowhere. I think it was actually all the bullets were hitting up here and then one just randomly flew down there. So there's your recoil pattern. There's your hip accuracy test. Last one we're gonna do is the disc or the long range test. So we're gonna check that one out. I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, we are back with the long range test. And the way this one works is we're gonna aim down range at this target, and we're gonna to try to hit it all 30 times. Hopefully we hit it all 30 times. I, I really doubt it, especially using a rampart with no attachments, but hopefully we can do it. I'm gonna aim in right here. And let's go. That was terrible, and I want you guys to know that I didn't do that on purpose. We'll try it again. Yeah, that was just awful. I think there was a lot of times where we, we literally, I mean, just missed left or right. Terrible recoil, terrible range, terrible. Oh my gosh, the knockdown power on this gun is insane. I think it's like a two to three shot kill, um, two shot headshot three shot anywhere else. I mean, super, super strong, but my goodness, you have to have grip. And grip's one of the last things you unlock on this gun as well. I don't even know if I have it unlocked for the um, gameplay, but that's gonna do it for the test. Hope you guys enjoyed that part. I'll meet you guys in the lobby. All right, guys, we are back in the creative class system. Here we go, ARs right here. We have five ARs in this class, ICR, Rampart, KN57, Vapor, and the Maddox RFB. Here's the Rampart right here. Let's talk about some stats. So let's read the description first. It's a full auto assault rifle, high damage with a slower fire rate. Now, as far as damage goes, this is the highest damage in the class from the nine. Second would be the KN57. Now, if you ask me, the nine damage on the Rampart feels way more explosive, way more damaging, like it has a lot more knockdown power than the eight that you get with the KN57, even though it's one point difference. It's just it's just something about how hard this gun hits in comparison to this one. Um, maybe there's like a hidden stat for shooting through walls or something, like, I don't know. But this one right here feels like it, it definitely hits way harder. Um, as far as range goes, it is third in the class. Well, it's tied for third. There is the ICR in first with 10. 10 points at range. The KN and the Vapor tied for second at nine. So the Rampart and the Maddox are tied for third at seven range. As for rate of fire, it is last in the class and 10 rate of fire. And that is expected I me. Mean, it has a higher damage. So you think that the, the trade off is going to be the slower rate of fire. Um, this gun, if you want a comparison straight to Black Ops 3, it's like a Man of War, but it has less accuracy than the Man of War. I feel like the Man of War actually shot on target quite a bit. So that's how this one feels to me. You guys could say otherwise. I've heard people compare it to the scar because of the sights or and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. It feels more like the man of war to me. Um, for accuracy, it's got the worst accuracy in the class. It's tied for worst accuracy in the class with the Maddox. It has three rounds. There's 30 bullets per round, and there's no operator mod for this weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and equip this, and now let's take a look at the camos here. So we have the hunt camo. There's patrol. Panther, Monsoon, Agitator, Erd, Bengal, Massacre, which looks really good on every single gun that I've put it on so far, Red Tiger, Roller Rink, Mother of Pearl, Purple Hex, Penthouse, Spectrum, Gold, and this is the first AR that we're getting to display, our Diamond Camo one. Here it is, Diamond Camo. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this actually because we just unlocked it. We just completed the, 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 the gameplay I uploaded to you guys with the vapor. That was like one of the final games. I think there was like three games after that maybe. And then we unlocked diamond for ARs. So here we go. We got diamond on the rampart. Now, first of all, we're gonna put on our two perks, dead silence and ghost. I really, really like them. Don't know why. And then next up we're gonna do 
or attachments. So I think first things first, we need to put grip on this gun. You saw the recoil pattern, got to throw a grip on it, make it feel a little better in our hands, um, hit those longer shots a little more consistently. After that, I think we're going to throw on high cal. A lot of people don't like high cal. They frown upon uh, the use of high cal, but I really like it. Increased damage to headshots. Um, this gun bounces up anyways. Why not? So there's that. And we're going to add one more attachment. And I bounce this one between long barrel and FMJ. It's got knockdown power, so I really want FMJ on there. But I think I'm going to put long barrel on to give us that, that range, kind of even out the gun a bit. So you look over there to the stats, like everything's almost evened out. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. And then I kind of want to throw on a reflex sight. But how's that going to do with our... Ooh, we'll put a reflex sight on this. So we got, a, we got a stacked Rampart 17 right here. This is kind of the ideal class that I want. It has high cal because it has the recoil on it that bounces upwards. So we're going to get those free headshots has grip so we don't have to worry about it bouncing up too too much we can get more of a um, consistent recoil pattern we got long barrel to hit those knockdown shots those longer shots and then we have the reflex sight to help us with the accuracy now for perks we're going to run dead silence and ghost you know we might be able to give up one of these i'm going to give up that so let's give up dead silence let's throw on cosmic device and then over here Let's throw on, oh, this is tough now. I, I don't think we need, so we don't need scavenger. I'm gonna put on, just put on dead silence. We don't need lightweight. We don't need none of that. This is the class we're gonna be rocking with. Rampart 17, we have the reflex, grip, high cal, long barrel, cosmic device, and ghost and dead silence. So that's it guys. We're gonna hop on into this game. It's probably gonna be a game of chaos domination. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you there. All right guys, we are back. Here we go. We're jumping into a team death match. Gonna run recon. We got the Rampart 17 class right here. Um, this is a mercenary, so there's no groups. I think I played mercenary mosh pit last time. This is mercenary deathmatch, I think it's what it's called. So it's kill confirm T deathmatch. There's no groups. You can't jump in with a party of two or up to six. Hopefully we get you guys good gameplay. I'm gonna play a little slower. Team deathmatch. This is TDM. There's really no need to be like flying around because they spawn behind me at times. Yep. Can't challenge that because my gun doesn't shoot straight, so. We've lost the advantage. So what we're gonna do. Ooh. Dude, I that guy jumped out, so that was smart of him to jump out. But that's the dude right there. We see all of them, literally all of them. So stupid. Push this. All right, bit of a rough start. Bit of a rough start. Oh, and two. Enemy two and two. Above. That's where that high cow comes in handy right there. this back side real quick all right this guy right above us there he is I don't really like being here
I had him. I had him. I knew he was there. I thought he would push up instead of um out like that. Since that was stupid, dude. Fine. Did you want none? Still got one. So that's good. Wish I could have saved him. Can't challenge that. Really not able to challenge that. Shoot this here. Push that guy. Intel wins wars. Money dash. So we're gonna call this in. I must have the bullets. Call our helicopter in, get our house storm. Three? We got three. Really have no ammo. So there's a guy in this building, I think. Yeah, he was right there. He's gone. Should be able to make a, a small comeback here. Crap, that's not what I wanted at all. Is there a crash on our team? There is not. I was worried we were going to run into a situation like this. right here. I don't think this guy's gonna jump over anytime soon. Got another health storm. Oh, I thought it was quad burst for some reason. That's fine. We're just playing the rampart here, so we might as well uh, switch back to the rampart. Almost had that guy. Almost had him. Yeah, he's beating me right there. I don't know how. Read that. He's gonna read that way. Hostile UAV circling. We can still take this. Oh. Enemy medic down. Firing sensor hut. Hostiles have established multiple UAVs. Oh, we are down, down. We're losing this. Be a typical gameplay if we weren't. Threat destroyed. So close. Please see that kill. Down by three. Come on, team. Let's go. Victory. 
37 and 6, 5,557 damage. Great little comeback right there. I wanted to see the 10 kill streak with the gun. I want to see what that looked like. I don't know if it's 10 or if it's 15 that changed colors again. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever equipped diamond. So. My man's got the Titan LMG here with the thermal scope on it, which isn't a bad combination. Or actually, I think that's a DKM. It's not a bad combination. Hit detection on the LMGs are insane. There you guys have it. We got you guys a win. I'm glad we got a win because I feel like every single gun for dummies episode I upload is an L. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Or hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I'm glad we got a win. That's what I meant to say. But that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we're going to play on the map Gridlock for our map tutorial, our Tizzle map tutorial, which actually comes out after this video. Um, I don't know how long after this video because, I mean, it has to process, edit, render, all that stuff. But it should be shortly after this video. I might hold it until then. So, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. That's going to be the next installment to our Tizzle map tutorials episode or series. So we have a playlist for that. If you guys haven't watched any of those as well, go check that out. But I'm just going to go over some tips on the map. It's going to be Gridlock. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Until next time, Speedy Wood J Tizzle. I'm out. Peace. I don't know why I just did that.